Live weather on East Texas Live is brought to you by Peters Auto Sports in Tyler. Welcome back to East Texas Live. We are tossing things out to Carson Vicroy, who is live in Tyler, Texas, giving us a look at that forecast. Hey, Carson. Hey, Corinne, uh, it looks like it's about to rain. Hopefully the weather gods are on our side today and Mother Nature is as well because we really need to see the rain. We saw some in the eastern parts of Smith County yesterday and northern parts of the county as well. Haven't seen a lot today, though. Let me get you right to live Viper radar. And once again, you'll see that we do have a few showers and thunderstorms to our east. That's where most of the rain has been all morning. Harrison and Panola County certainly have seen theirs. But as we look at parts of Smith and Russ County. We are seeing some pretty good rain falling there right now, so we will certainly take what we can get and we should see, you know, additional development of those showers and thunderstorms as well. Let me get you to your temperatures. It's actually quite comfortable out there this morning. I mean, yes, it says 86 in Tyler, which can be warm for some of us, but folks, compared to what we have seen over the last several weeks, I mean, that's not bad for just after 11 o'clock this morning. Dew points, though, it is humid, upper 60s and lower 70s, so no doubt about that. We certainly have seen that humidity increase. Now, let's get you back to Futurecast. I want to show you what we're anticipating for the remainder of the day. Once again, this is about 4 o'clock, a few showers and thunderstorms. I think we'll favor more so deep east Texas and our central and northern counties, but I'm still not going to rule out a rogue storm or two. Likely not to be severe, maybe some gusty winds, a little bit of pocket change hail, but that's about it. And then as we head into about 7 o'clock this afternoon, we will see those showers and thunderstorms still bubbling up. And then most of this is out of here by about 10 o'clock Friday. By 11 o'clock this evening, we're just seeing a couple of clouds, and we should be ultimately done with the rain as we roll into early tomorrow morning. But here's a look at your temperatures the next seven days. Now, our normal high is 95 degrees. There's some question marks over the next several days, as there always is. We do have triple digits back in the forecast as early on as tomorrow, and that could last us through next Thursday. Now, that being said, we could have some rain chances that might change those numbers just a little bit, but let's focus on today. That's probably the best day we have over your next seven days because our high temperature is only at about 98 degrees, about a 30% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms overnight tonight. We'll be down to about 77. We could see a few lingering showers as Futurecast suggested early, but once again, not too bad of a night and skies will become mostly clear after midnight. Now, here are your next seven days. After perhaps a cloud or two tomorrow morning, we'll be mostly sunny in the afternoon. Because of that, the heat will be on and we'll be at about 100 degrees and then 100s, as I mentioned, the remainder of the way. Perhaps a few clouds Wednesday and Thursday, which could lead to some rain chances, especially as we look at that deep east Texas seven day. We'll be at about 97 with about a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms for today perhaps not reaching 100 degrees Saturday, and then hundreds expected Sunday and Monday. Well,